is, but not on me. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions, and that brought another to mind. Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. And another. Ooh, and another. Don't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. A 
now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Shofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean, is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanis. Sophanis? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, uh, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Vion may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. This area will be well defended.
You've returned. Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanes deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did matter to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanes the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stables southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. <laughs> The watch will be vigilant here. That's the thief. You won't escape.
Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it, or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? The outcome may be better, but he should still be punished for his crime. That is true, yet, if his peers were to decide, especially those he saved, they may argue that though the action was wrong, it was necessary and just. I'm not sure the law cares about the reasons. But if we are to decide whether the law should act on a man, or if his crime should be pardoned, the worthiness of the action should be taken into account, should it not? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. 
Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you've just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master, and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names! You're wasting my time! Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? People aren't equal, even if we wish it were true. So, you would say, for example, that your life is worth more than another's. Then, would you also say that there are some who are more worthy of life than yourself? I'm not that naive. There are many who likely deserve life more than me. So, you would admit that a life's worthiness is dependent on a person's actions and what they have done or can do for the world? I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. 
go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time.